Hey, everybody. We're live at the Pay Studio in New York right now with Suzanne Santos. Suzanne, welcome back. Everybody, welcome back. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, it's great to see you again. Glad you're doing this. Thanks for doing it on show day. You're at oh, Rockwood yeah. Stage Two tonight That's at correct. ten o'clock, and yeah. uh, we're about to share. You are about to share your music with the internet right now. Oh God! Uh, oh God! Oh God! Congratulations <laughs> in advance because uh, a, an album comes out later on this year. It's Thank currently you. called Yard Sale. We'll mm. see what it what it what it is called when it okay. does come out later this year. Yeah. And uh, the first single from it, Fall for That, comes out in April, and uh, we're hearing three songs. What's happening first? Yeah, today? we were gonna just uh, kick it off with Fall for That. It sounds like this. Suzanne, that sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. It felt good. Actually, we've never played that live before. How did that feel? That felt so good. 
You know, feels good to be out of the rehearsal space, although it kind of feels like we're in a rehearsal space. So yeah. it's great. Yeah. So I mean, this is like the transitional space between now and Rockwood, where you will, I would assume, Woo! play it out uh, for an audience for the first time. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I, uh, I'm excited for the people that are, are going to brave the public appearance, you know, considering what's happening right now. But I think we can all be safe. Yeah. You know, we can bring our hand sanitizer. We don't need to kiss each other on the mouth. If we do, that could be fun too. <laughs> I would, I would hope Crowd. somebody kisses somebody else on the mouth tonight. I mean, you guys are kind of screwing up if nobody does. <laughs> it's not rock and roll. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Am I though? <laughs> um, so you you mentioned that uh, the Gary Clark plays on uh, on this song. Yeah. What I mean, that must have been a very gratifying and awesome experience to have a, a dude like that play uh, play on the record. What's what has it been like to to work with? It him? kind of felt surreal because. He's so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, he's just a cool dude, and he's so kind, and he, like, you know, when people show up for you, it's a really nice feeling, and he did that. You know, he didn't have to make time for me to play on my record, and, you know, it was just one of those really, I am, like, eternally grateful, and, you know, it, his playing is just, like, he really has a signature, and it's, it's, it really lends to the track, um, which, by the way, it was funny because... You know, folks, Brad was mentioning that he doesn't have a cell phone, which, yeah, let that sink in. And um, <laughs> For six months, all seven months now. Yeah, seven months. Yeah, man. God. You're, yeah, I, like, I feel like you have so many answers to things that I need to learn about. Um, but, you know, this song essentially is, um, I wrote it when I was off the grid in a cabin in Ireland. And I was actually on, a, like, a third generation sheep farm that the address on Airbnb was latitude and longitude coordinates. So it was like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I take a left at the third rock and yeah, then, uh, at pretty the, much. At no, the, and I, I, I got there in the tree. dark and it was like, I was like, this is like a horror film and I was legitimately terrified. And I was like, leprechauns, no. Uh, <laughs> but I, I was determined to write as much as possible. Um, and I kept, falling into this trap of looking at my cell phone and then seeing something on Twitter that made me angry. And I, I was really uh, aware that I was kind of getting infected by uh, a collective mood that didn't feel like it was mine. And, and then I sort of, you know, I really, I t you know, mustered up the balls and turned my phone off because that's really hard to do sometimes, you know. And, but I, I was also fascinated by the way that we are informed these days and how information, it, it comes like flying at you. It's not like you can just sort of learn at your own pace. And then all of a sudden you're full of anger or sadness or anxiety in ways that I think is something that I personally really want to be aware of so I can, you know, be my best self and a good person. But that essentially is what Fall For That is about, uh, which I don't normally like to talk about the songs, what they're about, but I, I wanted to share that because no. you being an off the grid man. Yeah, no, I love inspiring that. Inspiring us all. Probably one of the more relatable uh, feelings right yeah. now. I'm sure that there are hundreds of millions of people feeling that exact same yeah. way. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And uh, you know, <laughs> hopefully that does become a conversation. We figure out ways to not be so distracted all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Read a book. It's yeah. so great. Yeah, dude, books are great. Yeah, I love books. Big uh, fan. Big fan. We are. Uh, there's a lot more music happening right now. You're gonna do another one yeah. from uh, from Working Title Yard Sale. Working Title Yard Sale. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good yard sale? Uh, this is this is one of my faves of of the new bunch, and it's called Mercy. <laughs> Mama came running out of the house A wild look in her eyes They trailed her all the way down the block Till she sat right down and cried A curtain swaying in every window Crack Venetian blind Yeah, it could be any one of us With a broken mind Yeah, it could be 
gives me chills And I learn about darkness I learn about darkness Heavy like sick or hidden in a kid I learn about Sometimes they're saviors And I learn about changes I learn about changes When it's some you lose some Cry about things that used to be fun but you change Yeah, can you, you guys, you all sound great together. Can you introduce everybody oh, to the internet? My pleasure. Uh, just the guitar shredder of the universe. We have Blaine Stark on guitar. Right, Blaine. Recently haircut. It's just, just Looking slick sharp. as a devil. Uh, <laughs> we got Polly Doyle on the drums. Hey, Paul, yeah. welcome back. The heartbeat of this band. Also, our, our bouncer, in case we ever run into trouble. <laughs> That's the truth. And uh, just just the, the, the light of our hearts, the Angel Pipes McGee, uh, Izzy Boo Bear, also known as Izzy Ray. Right, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to say your real name because I'd rather call you Boo Bear, but the people need to know. Uh, Izzy also has incredible music of her own worth checking out under Izzy Ray. Get it, folks. Nice. Well, thank you all. You've got, you sound great together. Um, there's been plenty of opportunities to see you play live. There's Rockwood tonight. There's yeah. a few more Northeast shows. Then you're going to be at the Bootleg Theater in L.A. on yes. April 23rd. Thank you. And then uh, Down by the River sounds like a ton of fun. You're out in the Netherlands on June 7th with Dylan LeBlanc and with a bunch of other artists. It sounds like an amazing, amazing with afternoon. That one. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be in the Netherlands June 7th. That is happening. So. so the internet told me that. I think I'm it's true. I'm still trying to figure out how to afford to get there. So uh, I, I I think I'll be there. Fingers crossed, folks. <laughs> uh, so you are this this album. You released this album. Are going to release the album and the single and all the music yourself yes. uh, this yeah. time around? Can you talk about so uh, Susanto Records is the name <laughs> of the imprint? Where'd you get that name from? Um, I'm, I think it was. A, I mean, there's so many nicknames. <laughs> Busty um, Larue is really the one people mostly call me. But uh, <laughs> that. So sorry. can you can you talk Perhaps. about some of the uh, some of the pros and flexibility sure. and yeah. some of the cons and yeah. probably just how much work it is to, to self release something like this? Yeah, uh, it is a ton of work. It's a lot of money, uh, but it's also really gratifying because, um, you know, when you I got to work with my friends and people showed up again, you know, in that way that like, I can only afford to pay you so much, but do you want to play on my record kind of thing? And, um, that is, it's a real battle for a lot of people. You know, if you want to make good music and, you know, you don't incorporate a record company, you're, there's a lot of minutia that you have to do on your own. And, um, I feel lucky enough that I've been doing this a long time. So I have a lot of trusted friends that have helped me. Um, but it's, yeah, it's been intense. Uh, but the the kind of mastermind producer, John Spiker, he has produced these songs. And, um, 
He also plays bass in Tenacious D, which is a band that I love a lot. So I just think he's really cool on many levels. But he's one of those people that stepped up and, you know... There were other producers that I'd been talking to in, in, you know, when I had my demos for these songs and some of them wanted a lot of money and I just didn't have that. And, and John's kind of one of those people that's like, let's figure it out. We'll make sure everybody's happy. But I'm, I'm very fortunate that he uh, took this project on board. I honestly don't know what I'd do without him. Shout out to Spiker! Cool. Well, thank you, John. Um, thank you all for doing this. Uh, yeah. You're getting a ton of love from Greece. Uh, oh, wow. People tuned in from Italy right now. You're getting love from a lumberjack in Bozeman. Uh, so that's happening. Um, Hello. Thank you, the internet, for tuning in right now. Uh, we got a great crowd, and there's still we're only two thirds of the way through. You're gonna do one more from we the upcoming one album. More. Yeah. What's last today? Uh, we're gonna play a tune called "Bad Beast," uh, and. Uh, we're also really excited about this one. This one's really fun to play. Um, I uh, Thanks for all the love, guys. That's so cool. That's kind of like blowing my mind right now. The old technology. All right, I'm going to turn this one off. Okay. How are you guys feeling? You go for miles 
love playing music with you guys so much. Thank you. Ooh. And you're just going to do that all day. You're going to Rockwood. You're yeah, going to do yeah. that. And it's a, um, it's a marathon Billy rocking. Joe Sheehan is so stoked to see you guys at Rockwood tonight. Awesome. Cool. AJ Santini of the internet will be showing up early for the yard Ooh. sale, digging these new tunes. You got to read the comment section. People are stoked. Oh, you feel very good about the internet. Thank you guys so much. That's great. <laughs> um, best of luck when, when yard sale comes out thank later you. on this year. Uh, best of luck with your own imprint. There's a ton going on. And thank please you. travel safely between all those dates. I hope you find out a way to get to the Netherlands. There is a festival waiting for you to play at it. Space Ship. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's the plan. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much for doing thank it. And you. I'll see you in a couple hours at Rockwood. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs>